Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GK Mix. So in this video, I am going to talk about these documents upload things like things. Okay, because a lot of students are facing a lot of problems regarding these documents because they are confused uh, which documents they need to upload, which documents they need to submit and how do how do these documents need to fill up. Okay, so uh, everything they are facing a lot of problems. So I thought I should make an uh, make a video on that. So that's why I'm making this video and uh, the, the problem is that you don't need to worry about to that okay you are wearing too much that is not necessary okay so let me talk about this so first select okay in this step first select wh whatever you are you have all the documents you don't have any documents don't any, uh, nothing else okay first select no okay you, if you have all the documents then also you select no nothing will occur okay nothing will happen then upload the undertaking document that means these documents and why I am telling you that to upload these documents because in the last okay you are thinking that yeah you don't have any of these documents it's okay but in the last it also says that if you don't have your mark sheets or if you uh, you have to submit your mark sheets on or before September 30 so this is normal okay that's why as they are asking to submit these uh, your mark sheets before sep on or before September 30 that means you have to upload you have to upload these documents also because these these September 30 means your mark sheets okay so you, you have to upload this undertaking so nothing matters if you are uploading then you are telling that yeah I will provide all those documents on or before September 30 then it's fine it's okay and other documents you have to submit on or before July 6 okay so that's why you have to upload whether you are uh, you have you are uh, graduated before one year ago or whether you are graduating in this year nothing matters upload these documents uploads uh, upload this uh, undertaking right so after uploading this is true for all all the students who are, whoever are filling up this application form okay or uh, the admission form this is true for all the students after uploading these documents go to category certificate so it, for sc st students it's it doesn't matter okay sc st pwd they can easily upload their documents but for general and ew uh, general and general ews and obc students they need to follow some steps what are they let me talk about that. So, here it is written authorities who may issue SC, ST, OBC, non NCL that is non criminal layer or EWA certificates. Okay, so who can uh, validate your you are a, who can validate that you are a student who has this category? Okay, so the list is there. Okay, so these officers can sign can countersign can uh, can uh, can do a signature on your documents. Okay, so to get that you won't get that because because of this lockdown period you won't get that this uh, officer's signature. So what you need to do you will submit these documents later on, right? If you don't if you can't show all these documents then your app uh, if you suppose you have applied for OBC NCL. Okay, uh, but if you in future if if you are unable to show all the documents then your admission will be revoked okay your admission will be cancelled okay, so remember this one whatever you are filling whatever documents you are uploading whatever uh, uh, informations you are providing uh, you are taking uh, all this information that should be perfectly right okay and now how uh, these are the okay i'm sorry i think something happens yeah so uh, now after f getting this the, the first there okay okay listen one thing note these two things you have to take care of okay the obc ncl certificate will be fine will be found in appendix 4 i will be showing you and the second is certificate issued by any other authority that means uh, except these authorities except these officers if you uh, countersign your documents with uh, with uh, except these officers or if you countersign your documents uh, with uh, by other officers your application form or your uh, category certificate will not be valid okay your admission will not be uh, accepted right so take care of that so now coming to obc ncl certificate so if you are thinking okay let me show you yeah give me one one second okay yeah okay let me show you my my obc certificate so yeah yeah so x one second this is my obc certificate okay so how I did, then you will believe. This is my OBC certificate that I got. Okay, let it come. 
yeah so this is my obc certificate that i uh, got from government of west bengal okay government of west bengal so this is my state obc certificate this is not my obc ncl certificate so whatever obc certificate you have already that is not your obc ncl certificate right your obc ncl certificate you will get that certificate from here this is your obc ncl certificate Pro appendix 4 pro forma for other backward class non criminal certificate okay how to fill all these things i will telling you i will i will be telling you okay so this is your obc certificate so you need to upload okay let me show you how did i upload it how did i upload the, that document so in the first page i have made a pdf file in that pdf file in the first page i uploaded that document okay you can see this is my obc ncl certificate okay you can see that okay pause the video and uh, take everything take every information how to fill the application form and in the second page i added my uh, state obc certificate so that I, uh, I i i i don't need to be worried about that okay so i uploaded both the documents as one pdf file okay so fill the application form and during filling the application form you will find us a section that where they are asking about <coughs> the resolution number they are asking about the resolution number so remember this one this resolution number you will find from here okay so this is date of notification that means your how when you uh, uh, your obc certificate is uh, validated okay that means when uh, in which year your obc you, you are an obc okay and you are uh, your obc certificate has a date okay so this is tough to say for example let me show you mine okay so that then you will understand that okay my in my obc certificate okay this is no this is non familiar certificate this is not my obc certificate in my obc certificate i will find a resolution number like things okay you can see that and the date is see the date 1910 1994 so this is the date and this is my resolution number but if your obc certificate doesn't have the resolution number you will find this kind of date okay this will be the date okay uh, resolution number date so then go to this list go to this list okay this table and find this okay this is my uh date of notification 1994 see the year only okay so baki uh left dates are not important see the year only 1994 and my resolution number is this okay so fill that resolution number over here okay uh yeah over here okay the resolution number and the date of course you need to field of also okay so this is your obc certificate and after filling up this obc full obc certificate or you can see my obc certificate as a reference i uh, just pause the video and see that one then you have to countersign it by any officers that is uh, those are listed over here okay so you can uh, collector district magistrate sd officer anything okay just you have to countersign these this document uh, by any of this officer okay so this is your obc certificate so after getting this certificate just attach two file uh, first one is this ncl certificate okay and the second one should be your uh, real obc certificate that you got from your state okay uh, add two add two documents in one pdf file and upload that one and the pdf uh, upload size should not be less than uh, more than 4 mb okay so remember that one or you can compress uh, it uh, in the uh, in the website okay or going into google or how to compress the pdf file okay you can do that easily so now coming to ews certificate so what kind of ew certificate so you can you, you just it's very easy you put the certificate number date a valid for the year okay it, it will be uh, in your ews certificate okay so just fill other information your address everything your name parents name or husband's daughters whatever just fill the application form and then just uh, you put your name and this cost okay then put a passport size photo and of course that should be attested okay by of uh, and you have to countersign you have to countersign on the speech on this picture okay on this passport size photo your signature will be there and then you need to uh, countersign this document by any of this officer okay any of this officer that means same whatever uh, was uh, whatever whatever was listed in the above section okay so these are the list of the officers so you can you can okay you can go to your sd office subdivisional officer sd office and get the signature or district magistrate or collector or uh tahsildar whatever you want okay so get the get these two documents and finally upload those documents over here let me show you yeah upload this document category certificate over here and you have already your class 10 level certificates so you can upload these documents over here and finally that's all about this video okay and uh, i think i should add something more okay no nothing else 
so these are the documents and i hope you won't face any kind of problem but so remember this one you have to upload whatever you are you have all the documents you don't have all the documents upload this undertaking form then upload these documents so category certificate and anything else and for SCST students just upload your documents state documents okay you don't need to fill any other information as they are not providing any other uh, uh, ncl like things ncl or aws certificate okay they are not providing any things like that okay you just upload your documents because your documents already have countersigned by uh, uh your sdo or collector or that uh, levels officer okay so don't worry about that for sst students you just upload that for pw students pwd students just upload your pwd certificate that's normal that's it, that's easy okay for obc ncl and aws that uh, it has a headache so i think i should make a video and i hope you have understand understood all the things okay so that's all about this video thank you thanks for watching